okay guys welcome to this um tutorial i just wanted to do this okay for my for my students um you bought this course you're going through it and this is something that i just wanted to add to the course to add more value and i hope that you find it extremely useful all right i was looking through google i was searching for whatsapp icons that i wanted to use and actually i was looking for line at whatsapp icons that i could use for for a design project and i didn't find one i looked through google i look, searched through google for minutes and minutes i didn't get exactly what i wanted to uh, what i was looking for so i decided to create these icons by myself okay because coral draw is such a powerful tool you can do anything okay so if you know how to use the tools you could I could act, you could actually recreate these things so I wanted to share this with you how you know you can create these icons so I just did this once um, but I want to just take you through one or two of them so that you can see exactly how I was able to create this so what I did was to get this this um, photo from, from from Google and this is actually a bitmap or a photo you can see the pixels they are broken i can actually use this for a design project so i have to recreate them okay inside curl draw so this is why i want to share this tutorial with you all right so let's get going i'm going to recreate one of them so that you can see exactly how i'm able to create this inside curl draw as you can see this is a line at um piece of design it doesn't have any pixels in it you can zoom it to infinity and it will still return the original um, the original form it will still retain the original quality all right so that is it so let's get going so I'm going to quickly drop this here I'm going to duplicate this you know you know how to duplicate with the mouse just um, click and drag then right click when you right click it's going to duplicate whatever you are holding on to so that is it i'll duplicate this and i'm going to crop this i want to recreate this um, particular um, emoji all right now i'm going to crop use the crop tool which is this i'm going to click and drag select what i want to crop and um, hit enter on my keyboard so it's going to crop this all right now next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna just keep it here let me just keep it here i want to i want to maintain the consistency with the sizing all right now first thing first you're going to draw a circle for the main body of the emoji so while you're drawing your circle hold down your control key to get a perfect circle all right so like this okay so i've gotten my the main body of the emoji then the next thing i'm going to do is to draw the mouth which is this okay i'm going to select my pen tool <clears throat> excuse me i'm going to select the pen tool which is here somewhere here okay i'm going to start from here click and drag okay to get a curve uh coral draw is going to create another curve this is an intelligent feature it's going to create another curve here so simply maintain it okay it's going to create another curve like this all right so we've got now a curve neat and simple click and drag to get another curve and coral draw is going to continue with that uh, so what we can do is to click here okay something like this i don't want to spoil this okay another curve okay and another i'm going to just end this here all right so this is not perfect so which is what we are going to do we are going to work on this area okay so quickly select your shape tool which is next to the pick tool and come over here and add um sorry just adjust this adjust this um line here adjust this i want to get this curve correctly 
Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So you see the structure of this this um, side. Okay. So I want to replicate the same thing here. So I'm going to drop another node here. Double click to get a node. Okay. Remove that node. Double click here to create another node. Remove this node. So it's looking more like it. So we're gonna adjust this. Oh, sorry. So select this node. See the handle here. I'm going to adjust this a bit. I want to get something close to the other side. Okay, so more like it. All right, so we've gotten that sorted out. Okay, I'm going to have to adjust this a little bit. Okay, perfect. So we have this done. The next thing I'm going to do is to draw the sunglasses. All right, so we're still, we're still going to use our, our pen tool. Okay, so I'm going to start from here. Uh, drag. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm going to undo that. That didn't go well. Okay, start from here. Okay, um, maintain this. Okay, maintain this. Okay, maintain this. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'm going to continue the curve. Then I'm going to add a curve here. I'm going to add a curve here like this. Another curve like that yeah so you can zoom in and zoom out I'm zooming in and out with my mouse okay so another curve here just follow through another curve oh, this is not um, this is too far so I'm going to add another here and another here and then I'm going to finish this up all right, so that's the frame. I've gotten the frame of the sunglasses. So I'm going to draw the, if I'm going to move out this photo, our original reference, you can see that it's taking shape. All right, so I'm going to undo that. Okay, so I'm going to draw the inner frames. Okay, I'm going to still use my pen tool. Okay, I'm going to still use my pen tool for that. All right, we can start here. Okay, like so. Like this, like that, like that. Okay, so I'm gonna end that. So I'll change this to white, just right click. I want to see what I'm doing. So quickly switch to um, the shape tool and we're going to shape this properly. Add a node here, remove this node. Okay, so it's taking shape. Uh, adjust this a little. Okay, I'm going to place another, I'm going to remove this node. So you can see it's taking shape, looking more like it. Okay, now this node this is not too straight. Uh, I could remove this node here. Okay, that, that, that's perfect. Okay, so this is more like it. Uh, let me just adjust this a little. Yeah, yeah, this is it. This is it. So, so that is it. That is our frame. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this. So I'll click and drag and right click to duplicate. And I'm going to flip this. I'm going to flip it horizontally or mirror it horizontally using this tool. All right. So that is it. Our frame is created. I'm going to make maybe adjust this a little. No, no, that's not good. <laughs> I'm going to quickly undo that. Okay. Just, I just want to see how I can adjust this inwards a little, take it in a little bit. Okay. That's it. Take this in a little bit. All right. So this this our frame. Our frame has taken shape. Now I'm going to remove the original um, reference. So this is it. 
uh, the inner frames are here do they are in white so I'm going to change the outline to black okay so that's it that's it there's a little issue here this is not so perfect like this side so what I'm going to do I'm going to adjust this a little bit this um, this area so I could simply drag this a little bit or, or what I'm going to do okay I'm going to add a node here and delete this node this area, yeah so it's looking more like it okay yeah same thing here they may not look exactly the same okay you know so but you get the picture so just play around with it until you get it perfection all right but this is just how it is and i'm going to turn this to a curve this area is supposed to be a curve so i'm going to delete this these two nodes here um you know what i did here is simply double click to get the shape too you can also go here and click to get the shape too so click and drag remove these two nodes here okay so this is more like it all right now we have a uh, emoji it's almost done so i'm going to fill this with white uh, with black this frame here with black all right now these two i'm going to turn them to something like this which is not too shabby this i'm going to give it black and remove the outline okay so remove the outline too from here remove the outline from these two you know how to remove the outline just right click on the on this box here this little box here so the outline is gonna go all right so now this area needs a little bit of work I'm gonna double click on this I'm gonna turn this to okay it's already a curve so I'm gonna take this push it upward sorry I'm gonna take this <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna turn this something is not right here to curve all right so uh, how stupid of me I should have turned this to a curve so to curve right click on that point and turn this to a curve so you have your handles here so simply take this up take this up so this way it's is more like it all right so that is it um you have your emoji uh you can make it perfect you can add this um these shades here okay this shading here if you want otherwise simply leave it this way but for the sake of um thoroughness i'm going to add this shade here okay so i'm going to take my pen to draw a a line here make it into a curve and then like this so I'm going to give it something like this okay something like that then I'm going to put it inside this this so you can use your power clip simply go to object power clip place inside frame and click here so it's going to it's going to be placed inside that frame okay this is what you can do and you can turn this into something like this yeah this is looking good okay so now that we've gotten this so we can simply uh, take this and duplicate okay duplicate it here so just take this uh, duplicate here and flip and we got our second shade beautiful all right so i'm going to delete the former shade that was there which is this one i'm going to just press delete and bring it back to where it was and there you there there you go perfect all right so this is our emoji uh we've managed to create this uh from just lines and polygons and uh, shapes so that is our finished emoji uh, if you look at these two they look almost alike except for the color shading all right so that is it i'm going to delete this and so you can use the same technique 
you, you can recreate any of these emojis here. I'm going to attach this this um, photo to this lesson, this uh, file to this lesson, so it, you can actually import it into Corel Draw and do do whatever you want to do or follow along with this lesson. So you can go ahead, give it a try, recreate all of this. So this is how you can create an emoji, uh, a line art emoji using just a reference picture. Okay, so thank you for um, being there. Thank you once again for buying this course, and I hope you enjoy yourself, and I hope you make a great, um, a great career out of graphic design and do something useful or do something great. Uh, thank you once again, and uh, be awesome. Bye.